Good morning everyone. Our weekly nudes. This is a really good one. Um, again, not committing with any lines, but getting the big shapes, the most fundamental shapes. That's the background, that's the shadow of the body onto the um, onto the rag that she's sitting, uh, uh, actually laying. Um, okay, and um, the big, big masses, as I said, that's the most important thing. This is her, um, that's her hip. And you have feet, calf and foot. And then, um, no, that was a mistake. That's the cuff of her left leg. This is the hip. And that's the cuff of her right leg. No, left leg down here, right leg down up here. Yes, yeah, sorry for the confusion. That's the shadow of a thigh. Now you will see what I mean because yes, it's not very clear at the moment. That is the shoulder. Shoulder. Mm. There maybe. There, shoulder. Then you have the upper arm. Lower arm. And from what I see, the elbow stands slightly lower than the than the he, um, elbow here, slightly lower than her um, knee cup. So lower in a horizontal line, yes, slightly lower. And then you have a knee cup here. And hand. Sorry, I mean, yeah, lower, lower arm. Then you have upper arm here. And before I do that, better get, get a, a good reading of where the chest is and the breast, which is here. It's Breast, then you have the arm here, the elbow there, uh, maybe that distance needs to go a bit further, so longer. Or what I've what I've checked is that this from the elbow to the knee it's very small the distance, but what I can do, I can make the body smaller. Instead of increasing that distance, I can make everything smaller to fit my description of what I see, what I see. And you have the hand coming right down here. And then you have leg and a head moving back, backwards, chin, head, but it's all in the shadow. So the brightest bit I see is this one here. Are her um, two front cuffs. 
one make up here. Make up here. Then you have phi cuff around here. Heel. And then you have a foot itself, foot, which are toes around here. Heel a bit more. Accentuate the heel. And you have hip. bringing up this this part of her we see um hand which is the darkest bit around here now as far as the darks go this area is the darkest this area here is the darkest and you have knee cup and calf area yeah. knee cup again of a right foot then you have the hand again Coming back and forth just to get it. That's a breast. And then you have the elbow again. Uh, maybe I have, I've just gone too far down with the elbow. Just keep it here. And the other part of her, her other breast, the other side of her breast here. And the hand itself. Okay. That's mainly what I see there. And just to be a bit, little bit more forceful with these shadows, just get them a little bit darker. Get the that's the shadow of the cast shadow of the body onto the mattress. It just follows the, the line here, or it follows the same round bit as it is up on her hip, down here. Okay, now, with some putty, where's the putty, here, some putty rubber, getting all around where I need to brighten up, which is mainly hand, upper arm, sorry, lower arm, and then the hand which goes right down here, now, hip, Brighten it up a bit more. Um, the kneecap, which is really, really right here. Calf. And then you have, again, her left calf here. Kneecap and this light, it's way darker, way lighter than this. So the light, which is illuminating this part of her body, it's a lot brighter. Now I can make it even brighter by 
you know, coming around with the background and making a darker background, basically. But it's with not much form, so I need to shape it up. And what do I mean? Look, not that that's it's a different texture by doing it this way. It creates a bit like a, she's got a. Mm, a cloth behind her, behind her. It's actually just the background, which is grey neutral background. That's what it is. And brightening up her rib cage. There we are. The rib cage is lighter, and then you have the breast here. Rib cage and the breast here. So that's the rib cage. And a bit that light goes on both sides. So that light comes on both sides here on the rib cage. And then you have the shoulder which comes right here. This shoulder, this shoulder goes, so there's, a, there's an angle which connects that shoulder, her left shoulder with her right shoulder. It's not the same angle. That's a bit further out here. These are her hands, obviously. You don't see much of it because it's been turned her side. Elbow of a left left foot, calf of the right, and then maybe push this a bit further out. The heel here. Here we are. Okay. A bit darker. Actually, I could go even darker than that here, especially to re-emphasize that cylinder-like form of a thigh. And then emphasize the hip a bit more. And the background, where she's actually laying. Oh, the floor where she's laying, basically. And then, shadow here. Mm -hmm. A little bit lighter on her thigh. Lighter here. Light on the thigh. Maybe just maybe give a little bit of a dark on the background around here. That will emphasize the body a bit more. Again, let's work a little bit on the breast a bit more. Bring it up a bit, lighter. don't see the head it is just becoming is so weak there that it's just almost like part of the background neck and then you have a shadow here Cast shadow of the head onto the background. A 
but before I do that, just to re-emphasize the shape of her upper arm. And here as well, her shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder. There. Rest. Hmm. Breast and the and the upper arm here again. Coming and re-emphasizing those dark shapes here. Here we are. Okay, that makes the hand a little bit more visible. Okay, that's what it is. We got the substance and the essence of the pose. Or without words, the gesture. The gesture of the pose. That's it. The head, it's almost not there. It's a chin. Eye line, nose, but it's a weak line. You will see that the color is the same as the backgrounds. The value, the value, the tonal value of her head is the same as the background, which means that you just leave it to blend with the background. The upper arm. And then the breast itself. What I see, that light, which is her rib cage, is the, the darkest light. The bright, sorry, the brightest light there. And this. Okay. Maybe clear that up a bit or give more darks here on the background than anywhere else. All right. And again, the elbow here, the elbow, the elbow there. Just highlighting the elbow a bit more with darks. Highlighting, I mean, darkening a bit more you can highlight by giving more light or brighten it up or darkening it that's another way of highlighting her elbow there all right and what do i see there i see that that area is quite light so i should better go and give it a sh a darker tone But then there's light here on her belly button here, right here. Okay. All right. Now, around here, get rid of that very, very dark shadow that I've done previously. That's it. Less dark, that's it. Getting over this leg, this foot, just to make sure that it just blends with the background. See what I'm doing? I'm, it's an artificial way of, you know, saying that, look, this is my input. That becomes, that blends in and goes deep onto the surface, deep onto the, the background. Alright, 
to everybody. And um, a bit more highlight here, and then I'll see you on the next video. There we are. And highlight here. And highlight the way they turn around. That's it. Now, what's the day today? It's the 2nd of November. See you next one.